Hi, this is the Explanatory Model Analysis podcast about various techniques for explainable artificial intelligence. I describe methods for visualization, exploration, and explanation of machine learning models. This episode is about the breakdown method. In this episode, I will show you how to use the breakdown method implemented in the Dalek package for the R language. If you are interested in examples for Python or other XAI methods, you can find other episodes at tiny.cc Dalek webpage. Before we jump into the R code, let me remind you what breakdown is for. Breakdown is the model agnostic method. It means that it works for any model without assuming anything of its internal structure. It can be used for neural networks, random forest, tree boosting or linear models. It is also an instance specific method. It means that it explains the result of the model for a single observation. For the example related to the sinking of the Titanic, the breakdown method explains model results at the level of predictions for individual passengers. The purpose of this method is to break down the model result in components that can be attributed to individual variables. In this slide, we have an example for a single passenger, the eight-year-old boy from the first class. The model prediction for him is 0.466, and it is higher than the average result of the model, which is 0.322. The breakdown method analyzed the model and assigned to a young age, for instance age equal eight, a positive effect of 0.2. 204. To the first class a positive effect of 0.101 and the sex a negative effect of minus 0.056. Effects of other variables are listed below. The effects of all variables sum up to the prediction for this person, so the sum is equal to 0.466. Such decomposition is very useful. We can read which variables have the largest contributions to the final prediction of the model, but we also have an assessment of how big these contributions are. Let's see how to do such breakdown in R. This episode is focused on the software. If you want to learn more about this method, you will find its description on pbycheck.github.io forward slash EMA. In this example I will use the Titanic data. Probably you have heard about it before. It has only a few variables like age, gender, class and so on. Some continuous, some categorical. Each one is easy to understand. I will use the Titanic imputed data set from the Dalek package because it has already imputed missing values. Find more about this data set in the EMA ebook. To explain a model, we need to train one. Here I use the Ranger library for R to train a classification random forest model. Note that the breakdown method is model agnostic, so you can try any other model you wish. The model is trained to predict the chances of survival based on seven variables. Different models have different structures, so if we want to be model agnostic, we need to create a wrapper around the model that has a uniform interface for the model. Here we use the explain function from the Dalek package. The first argument is the model, then optionally we can specify the data and target variable and the label for the model. The label will appear on plots. The breakdown method works on the instance level, so we need an observation for which we can generate the explanation. Here we create a data frame with a single row that corresponds to an eight years old boy from first class. The model prediction for this boy is 0 0.465. Once we have the model and the instance of interest, we are ready for the breakdown method. Here we use the predict parts function from the Dalek package. The name of the function means that we decompose a prediction into parts that can be attributed to specific variables. 
the predict parts function calculates different types of variable attributions. We will use this function also in the next episodes. In the basic settings, this function expects three arguments the explainer, the new observation, and the type of attribution. By default, the type is equal to breakdown. The result is a data frame with attributions for each variable in the model. In most cases, a plot is easier to read than a table with numbers. You can use the generic plot function to create a waterfall plot that summarizes variable attributions. This is the ggplot2 object, so you can use other ggplot2 functions to exchange the plot, like ggtitle to add a title or theme to change the skin of the plot. In the breakdown method, the important element is the order of variables. By default, a greedy heuristic is used to determine the best order from the most important to the least important variable, but you can specify a fixed order with the order argument. In this example, we forced the order to be class, age, gender, fair, parch, sib sp, embarked. Note that the breakdown method is order specific, so for different orders you may get different attributions. This issue is addressed in the method section in the documentation and also I will address it in the next episodes. Other useful argument in the plot function is the max features. You can specify how many of the most important variables shall be presented in the plot. It is useful for models with dozens or hundreds of variables. The general workflow with the breakdown method is summarized in this sequence diagram. Once you have a model, you need to create a wrapper around the model with the explain function from the Dalek package. All other functions from this package operate on such objects. To calculate breakdown attributions, you can use the predict parts function with the type equals breakdown. The result can be further processed with the generic plot function. Find more examples and more details in the Exploratory Model Analysis ebook.